Hey, how's it going in today? I just wanted to do a quick video. This is primarily for beginners about what a pawn is. So I know when I first started, I was just overwhelmed with all the terminology. And so I thought it'd be nice to just show you an example that helped make it clear in my mind. So I'm just gonna go into first person and we'll just make a new project. It takes just a second to do this. One good thing about Unreal is it comes with a lot of the documentation already built in, but it's still confusing because the concepts aren't necessarily clear. So I think that's why doing an example makes it clearer. So right now we're in the first person game and if I hit play, I'm in the first person character and I can run around and jump and do everything. You know, I can grab this gun and all sorts of stuff. If you go and you right click though, and you come out to Blueprint Class, you'll notice you've got this array of options here. And right underneath an actor, which can basically be anything, you have a pawn. And what is a pawn? Well, I know in modern language we'll say, you know, I feel like a pawn in the game. That's kind of what it is. It's like you're being controlled and possessed by something else. And if you click here on this little question mark, it takes you in here and it gives a nice explanation about what a pawn is. A pawn is a base class of all actors and can be controlled by players or AI and the pawn is a physical representation of the player. And a character is a special type of pawn that has the ability to walk around. So a character is a pawn, is basically a descendant of a pawn. So that's good to know. So we'll go ahead and we'll create one and I'll just name this pawn. So this item, this character, whatever I'm creating here is gonna be possessable by the controller. And within the pawn class, really, the two main child classes of pawns are characters and wheeled vehicles. So anyway, we'll go in here. And just at the basic level, we have, if I were to drag this into the scene, we wouldn't see anything. So we're going to go ahead and give this a physical representation of just a sphere. So now we have a physical representation of the pawn. The pawn has no movement. A character, which is a child of a pawn, does have movement. Basically, it's very easy to set up the movement for a character. But a pawn doesn't have any movement associated with it. So you can't see anything. It's just a, a blob, a ball. We can give it the ability to see. So, it, <laughs> so we can give it a camera to see with. So if I just come in here and go camera, now our pawn can see. So it has a physical representation and it can see, but it cannot move. So we're gonna go ahead and compile and save. And I'm gonna close out of this. Now, if we go into the first person blueprint, what I can do is I can set it up so that if I press a keyboard button, we can switch to the pawn. We can take position of the pawn, but I'll show you a couple of concepts related to that. So I'll go to keyboard here, keyboard one, and if I was going to switch right here for possession, right? Well, first we have to call up the, the pawn. So we're going to we're going to get get actor of class, not all actors, just actor of class. And then we're going to search for the pawn we just made. Just here somewhere. It's way down on the list here, pawn. So we're going to get our pawn that we just created, our ball and our camera. And when we press it, we'll get that. And then what we want to do is, let's say we want the player controller, the controller, to take possession of it. So let's say I'll type, I'll right click and I'll go possess. Well, how come I don't see? I see add possessable. That's not it. That's part of the sequencer. Event possess. No, none of this is the possess that I need. Why can't I find it here? Because it's not available here. The function I'm looking for is only available through the player controller. So we have to go get player controller. Now if I pull off from here and I type in possess, now we have it available. And this is exactly what we want. So I'm gonna put this in here and I'm gonna put this in there. So I'll press one, I'll compile and save this. And what'll happen is I'll switch into the, the view of the pod but the pawn can only see, it cannot move. So it will just only be able to see what it will see, but it has no other functionality. So let's go in and check that out, what that looks like. 
So I'll hit play. And now I'm in the first person. I can do, I have the freedom of movement. I can do anything I want pretty much in here. Now let's say I want to switch to my pawn. And I hit one. Nothing happened. One is that I didn't drag the pawn into the world. So there's the pawn in the world now. And we can see what the pawn's seeing. So if I just turn it around here, let's say that's the view that I want. So let's try it again. Okay, I'm in the first person perspective. And then I hit one. And now I have the pawn perspective. But I can't move and I can't do anything. The only thing I can do is escape out of the game right now. So you think. Well, wouldn't it be nice to have to switch back to the first person character then? Well, yeah, that would be that'd be great. So let's do that. Let's go in here. Let's say I'm going to say, well, I want to get back to the first person. So I'll say, well, I'll go keyboard two, and we'll just do the same thing we just did here. We'll control D that make a copy of this. And this time I'll search for the BP first person. BP first person character. And then from here, I'll type in possess. Then I want to possess the first person now. So I'll plug this in here. I'll plug this in here. And I'll plug this in here. So when I press one, I'll switch to pawn. When I press two, I'll switch to the BP first person. Or will I? <laughs> So now we're in the game, and we're running around, and now I say I want to switch to the pawn. So I hit one, now I'm in the pawn view, but I hit two on the keyboard and nothing happens. Why? Well, you might be tempted to think that I need to enable the input, but now just think about this. And this helped me. When I pressed one, I switched over from this, this one here, the, the BP first person, I switched over into here. And what is in here? Well, in here is just a ball and a camera. I am now fully in this blueprint now. When I pressed one, I am fully in this blueprint, but there's nothing in here. So I'm, I'm paralyzed. There's nothing I can do. There's not a thing I can do. The only thing I can do is escape. So I inherited the pawn but there's nothing in the pawn here that I can really use, even though it inherits from the controller. So what I have to do is come in here, and I can just copy and paste this. I'll just control exit. Go into pawn, control V in here. And this is what we have to do. We have to be in here because this is where we are. So if I go compile, save and hit first person now i'm in the first person controller now i'm going to switch up there to the pawn view i can see but i can't move but i have that ability now if i press two to go back to the first person so i hit press two and now i'm back in the first person it's interesting huh so it's just once you get your mind around these basic ideas it's very helpful so that's why i wanted to give an example so i press one I'm in the pawn view. If this pawn was a character and had movement, then I can move around and go do whatever. And then if I want to go back to the first person, I just hit two, and now I'm back in here, back within the realm of the... So basically I'm jumping between blueprints. I'm jumping from this one to, to this one. So anyway, I hope you found that helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time. Hey, I just wanted to show you one other thing that's kind of fun before we go. And, and that's not that's not 100% true that the pawn cannot move. It actually, it can't necessarily move, but it can fall. So if we go into the pawn blueprint and we go to, where is it here? Oh, it's not on the, it's on the viewport here on the sphere if we go to simulate physics and we come back in and go into the here and we click on our pond so a pond down here somewhere right uh, here 
and I just drag it. Let's say I pull back pretty far. We drag it way up into the air. We can actually, it can actually move. So if I hit play, you see it? <laughs> so you could see it fall if you wanted to. So if you hit play and then we switch to one, we can actually see it from that perspective too. So it quote unquote can move, but it can fall. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that in there. Take care and have a great day.